my flexi mamas. If you don't know, well now you're about to find out that Gymshark's launching a new edition of the very, very popular Flex Collection. What the Flex? Are you guys ready for this? Hold on. Oh God, please don't fall. <laughs> oh. If these colors don't just come out and smack you right in the face. We are looking at here a wavy and a chevron print for crying out loud. But before we get into this video, if you are not already, definitely consider subscribing. I make new activewear videos every single week. I do a ton of Gymshark. I try to review every single new release that they come out with. Check out my Gymshark playlist where I have over 100 dedicated Gymshark videos. Chances are if they made it, we talked about it. And trust me, you're gonna wanna subscribe because November and December, what we got coming up in the Gymshark department, you're not gonna wanna miss it, I promise. So what the flex are you doing? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. You won't regret it. Huge thank you to Gymshark for sponsoring today's video. Everything you see today will be in my true size small. My measurements and every piece you see today will be linked down below for your convenience. A huge thank you if you decide to shop through these links as it does help support this channel more than you know. These baddies you're about to see are launching Thursday, November 4th at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So let's go ahead and dip into this beautiful colorful box we got going on. We're gonna talk prints, patterns, what's new, and then we're gonna do a full try on to talk about the actual fit. The whole nine yards. So let's dip and dive and see what exciting things we have. All right guys, so like I said before, What The Flex is coming in two different styles. We have the wavy print. Oh my God, groovy baby. And we also have the chevron, which I'm actually wearing right now, this sports bra. So, you know, the classic chevron, those little arrow designs. I actually teased these pieces on TikTok and one of my gals said that this color in particular reminds her of a mermaid. I guess like the scales and things like that. And I totally see that. Ooh. So definitely don't forget to follow me on TikTok because they see it first. So the colors that are coming out in the wavy print are this lava pink color, atlas blue, ooh, and a charcoal gray. So not as colorful, not so in your face for those who like more of a monochromatic look. So in the chevron print, we're looking at the exact same colors, just different pattern styles. So this one is the lava pink. This is the atlas blue right here. They're also coming in a charcoal gray with this print, but I actually don't have that one. I believe that's the only one that I don't have to share with you guys. No shorts are coming in this pattern. My very first impression of these two different patterns, they feel different and they're made from different types of material. So just keep that in mind. It's not just different looks. They're actually different types of fits. We will get into fitting in just a second, but my first impression when touching these leggings, these chevron feels really silky soft. It's like, Oh, look at that stretch, okay? It's like butter. But when I'm feeling up on the wavy design, it's feeling a bit like how the previous flex felt. And I do know there's similar materials like the old flex. So if you're looking for something that has more of the old flex material, that type of fit, this right off the bat has that. The chevron is very much different. It's mostly nylon based, so it's got that slippity slidey feel. I do feel like the chevron overall has more of the style the previous Flex collection had. And this legging overall is super symmetrical. So what you see on the back here, for example, the contouring, very similar to the old Flex, got that shadowed block contour, but again, super different material and fit. The wavy, even though it feels to me like the previous launch, similar, not exact, but similar. I do wanna make mention that you have a lot of asymmetrical looks. Not only the sports bra here, I mean, look at that. That's asymmetrical AF, but you also have that on the glute contour. So we got two different colors going on here, baby. This is the kind of like what the flex style I'm talking about where you're just like, your eye doesn't know where to go on these leggings. So right off the bat, you can see there's a clear difference between the wavy style sports bra and the chevron. The chevron's looking like the classic flex style that you're used to in the previous launches in terms of the construction of the sports bra. And the wavy is actually a new addition. So we're looking at an asymmetrical style strapping where you have the two on the one side and then the one strap on the other a very, very intricate strappy bra backing. 
It does say what the flex all over the bra straps. You still have that classic flex branding on the back. And guys, I'm just letting you know, I'm gonna wanna know your thoughts. Which pattern would you pick? And why? I wanna know why, which pattern speaks to you? All right, nothing to it but to do it. So let's go try these pieces on and see what we got. Okay guys, so let's start with the Lava Pink Chevron. So what we're looking at here is almost like a really deep purpley pink color mixed with orange. It's very, very vibrant, nice contrast in color. The sports bra does have removable bra pads, both of them do. I know that the Flex sports bras are usually labeled a lower support. I feel from my small toddies, I'm feeling more of a moderate support, almost higher. But that's just me. That's how I always felt with their sports bras. You do have adjustable bra strapping right here. Nice thick band. You can feel this softness. The major nylon base in this material is very, very, very much sweat wicking. The entire set feels very lightweight. I know that with the previous flex, sometimes it could get a little thicky feeling. This feels slightly thinner. On the thinner side, a little more lightweight and breathable, in my opinion, that's just how it's fitting me. So my true size small, I would definitely keep. This is true to size. I would not size up or down, but that's just according to me and my measurements. If I was in between sizes, I would probably size down because there is such an insane stretch going on in these leggings. They're like a second skin in a way. The overall paneling here, the contour that you see under the booty, above the booty and down the leg is that of a mesh style paneling. So you have a ton of breathability in this set. The waistband, moderate support. I'd give this entire set as a whole for me a moderate support. So even though the material feels a little bit thin, it's not sheer type of thin. Like I'm not seeing skin through anywhere. Even when squatting, nothing's appearing sheer in the glue area. And what I really respect is the fact that even with such a heavy pattern, the pattern's not fading around the quads or the glutes. You know how some patterns, they just fade out? in bigger muscle areas and they stretch right out and fade into the abyss. Well, this is not doing it. It's, it's staying intact in the places that I need it to stay intact. Okay, so the Atlas Blue, oof. I think these are such complimentary colors. I can see the aquatic look that everybody's talking about. A little mermaid vibe. I'm feeling like real summer type of style right here. So in this pattern, I'm not seeing any dreaded CT here. Everything's looking smooth all around but I do wanna actually get up close and personal real quick, all right? Getting real up close and personal. Right here in the front of the crotch, this little patch, they got a little mesh paneling. If you can see, <laughs> this looks really awkward. <laughs> but yeah, so you have a little tiny one here and right up here, I'm not gonna put the camera up here, but there's like a half an inch of mesh on the back too. So if you sweat in your crotch area, I think you're good. The glute department, we need to touch base on that a little bit. I think this looks really flattering on the glutes. I think the contour does what it's intended to do. I do have to make note that the racing contour is prominent on these pieces. You do have the blue to match, but overall I think it looks really flattering on the peach and the contour really just helps to pucker up the booty a little bit. I also want to make mention that even though these logos they're seamed within. There's no print on these logos right here, but the little shark face logo on the front here, you got one right here blending in on the hip, and you also have one right in the middle here. These are printed on, so keep that in mind. You have on the back, they're sewn within the set, and then you have them printed on the front. I kind of wish Gymshark would just keep it all consistent and just sew everything within the set so that we don't have to deal with none of that repercussions later. Potential peeling and things like that, okay? So yeah, maybe one day they will come out with just logos that are not ever gonna go anywhere. The overall length is pretty decent. Um, if I'm really pulling it down, it's gonna go long, but this is the type of legging that can kind of shimmy up like so, smooth out. It's extremely stretchy like that. Even with this light of a color, it's 100% squat proof. I wanna test whether or not it's gonna slip. So I'm gonna do a ton of squats and get back to you. Whew. Whew. Oh Lord, haven't done that many jump squats in a hot minute. <laughs> so, okay, it's not slipping or anything. I don't see any gape either. 
it's pretty decent. But I will say that this is one of those sets where it's like, even though I don't really feel it sliding, I know over time working out, you might have to keep shimmying up, sh shimmying it up. <laughs> because if you, especially if you're like me and you just want that booty to really look pronounced, you might wanna, uh, uh. It is that type of material where you can play with it. There's room to play with this material so you can shove it right up there. <laughs> okay guys, so we are looking at the wavy and the lava pink color. Right off the bat, putting these on, they do feel a tad more thicker, a little bit more compressive. I wouldn't give them a high compression. Overall, I'd still give it more of a moderate, whereas the Chevron's more on the lower to moderate. So we're still looking at a moderate compression. I feel a little more of the grab here, compressive on the glutes, but they still be popping a bit. These sports bra, I just noticed when putting it on that the straps actually cross over. They're not just double strap back. It's an actual crossing over in the front. I really love the look of the back of the sports bra. I think it's beautiful. I prefer the sports bra over the other one solely for the backing. You also have a tad more coverage in the front here. It goes up a little bit more. So keep that in mind if you're somebody who really needs a little more of that coverage up in the toddy area, then opt out for the wavy design for sure. Band is still about the same type of compression. The length is still long though, here we are. But this little bit of a thicker material, I feel like if I try to shimmy it up, you're just gonna see a little more of that wrinkle. It doesn't really smooth out as well as the other ones. So whereas the Chevron was very symmetrical looking, still had a super heavy pattern, but very symmetrical, this wavy pattern looks like a freaking lava lamp. Am I right? Am I right? I'm feeling Groover. I am not sure how I feel about the non-matching glue contour though. That's the one thing, as much as I think this pattern is so innovative, cool, groovy, and stylish. I still need personally though, I need my glue contour to match. <laughs> <laughs> That's where I draw the line. Other than that, you do still have the branding printed on right here, the shark faces. Little more noticeable on these though. The Chevron, you couldn't even notice the branding on the front, but here you do. These I would totally give a true to size. I wouldn't, I wouldn't size down in these. This has a little less stretch. So whereas the Chevron was extra stretchy, this has a little less stretch. I also think the chevron was a little more flattering on the peach. That's just me. I don't know if it's the contour that's messing with how I view my peach right now. Okay guys, so the shorts, I can't believe it, but the shorts, these are the same color as the leggings I just wore, but they look different. So even though you're buying the shorts version, it's not the same pattern as the leggings. They really, they really went buck wild on this one. So yeah, I'm looking at, wow. Okay, so this actually has Symmetrical contouring. <laughs> you don't have the one cheek with that, you know, one color and the other one with another one. Uh, my booty looks like a pumpkin. From the front, pretty subtle. From the back, that's where it's just gonna smack at you. These biker shorts are reminding me of the normal flex biking shorts in general. I would so far give this color a 90% squat proof. They're not as squat proof as the Chevron, I noticed. I can specifically see it on the biker shorts more than the leggings, probably just because it's a lighter color in general on the bum. But yeah, overall, very straightforward biking shorts. They don't roll up or do anything like that. My experience with the flex, I do notice right around here, is cinches in slightly. It causes a little bit of that sausage look ever so slightly, not as bad as if they were like up here, but because it's a decent length, it's not too bad. Me personally, I think I like the leggings more because I feel like they, they flow a little bit better with the sports bra. You got a lot of sherbet and lighter colors up here, and then it just kind of goes to dark. <laughs> so I think they took that sherbet and smacked it on the bump. That's why I prefer the leggings because from the front, it just flows a little better in my opinion. Okay, so I'm actually wearing the wavy Atlas Blue with the Atlas Blue Chevron. I actually don't have the matching wavy sports bra, but what's cool is if you're feeling extra frisky, you can definitely mix and match, specifically in this color. I'm feeling like this color in particular works. You got a lot going on. You have a really light blue band. Woo! 
So it's a little bit different, but we got very consistent coloring in terms of that lime green yellow color. Drop a comment. Let me know what you guys think of this mix and match. Tell me, I wanna know. With this color, I feel like you can really see the mesh contouring a bit better. I also noticed that even though there's a bit of a higher compression in these compared to the Chevron, I happen to feel like the band doesn't have much compression in these leggings. I feel like the compression's mostly right around here and not so much around the glutes and the band. I'm feeling a little bit of a let up here and not so much around here. So I have to make note of that. It's just how it's fitting on my body. Again, you have the single contour here looking like your booty's just winking at you. Hesitant to give it 100% because I feel like the wavy just isn't quite there at 100%. Depending on lighting and everything, I do think that this is better than the orange in terms of squat proof though. Okay, so I did not think that I was gonna say this, but I think the black, this monochromatic look is my favorite for the wavy design. I didn't see that coming. I'm not gonna lie, usually if you watch me, you know I always opt out for color over black or grays, but it's doing so, it's working. It's working for this print. I think overall, even with this type of compression and thickness, if you're in between sizes, I would size down. I think you can. I think there's still a good amount of stretch here. I think if you're really trying to mix and match within other collections from Gymshark, I think you can't go wrong with this one. If you wanted to get a fun print legging like this, you could easily take a signature black sports bra, like the training roost, for example, and it'll be a little less pattern in your face and it could definitely work a lot easier than say these other extravagant colors. So given that this is the darkest shade across the bum, it definitely passes the squat test. I didn't see any sheerness at all, according to how it fits on me and my lighting right now. Okay guys, so here's the part of the video where I give my personal opinions, my wrap up, my final thoughts on this collection, what I prefer, you know how it goes. If you're somebody who's in love with their flex collection, you want something as similar as you can get in terms of material and fit, keyword material and fit, then I would stick to the wavy. I personally feel like the wavy fits best texture wise, fit wise, to the previous launch that you guys know, wavy would win in that department. If you love the look, I'm talking just style and aesthetic of the Flex collection, and you want as similar in terms of style as possible, that is when I would go with the Chevron. You have the same type of sports bra, a little more symmetrical, the glue contour looks the most similar aesthetic wise. Both of these are good sets. Both I would definitely wear to the gym. I do think that if you're really going hard at the gym, you might want a little bit of a higher compression. If you're somebody who wants more of a casual fit, almost a yogi based kind of fit, then maybe try out the Chevron. In terms of what looks most flattering on the peach, I have to give it to Chevron. I think that the symmetrical contouring, I think the less compressive qualities made the peach look a little more plumper. I do feel like some of the contouring on the wavy maybe shrinks the peach up a little bit. And I do feel like the wavy was a little less squat proof overall than the Chevron, so keep that in mind. So this brings me to a really difficult conclusion because I like the fit of the Chevron a lot more, but I actually like the style of the wavy a little more. <laughs> I'm a complicated bitch. The best way I'm gonna say it is if I'm looking for a winter set, I'm going to go with this black and white monochromatic wavy set. A little bit thicker, a little more insulating. I feel like it matches the season a bit better, winter time, okay, anybody? But if it's summer or it's hot out wherever you is, I would definitely, I would definitely go with the Chevron. And I think I really like this color the best. So for example, my Australian babes, I see you. This set would be perfect for you. It's lightweight, it's super wicking, and it really just screams summer fun. So yeah, I think these, these two are the winners for me. All right, that's the best I got, you guys. But of course, as always, if you do have any other questions that I didn't cover in today's video, because believe me, it gets very difficult to try to remember to cover everything, definitely drop a comment down below and we can chit chat it up. 
Again, remember these pieces will be launching Thursday, November 4th at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Again, so let me know what you guys think. What piece would you go for? Are you gonna pass on this collection? Give it a shot. Let me know either way. Thank you again to Gymshark for sponsoring today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you found this video super helpful. If you did, then definitely give this video a like. Do not forget to subscribe. I'm just letting you know, November and December, tons of Gymshark content. You're gonna regret it if you miss out on it. I love you all so much and I'll catch you in my next video.